And here we are back again with this. Now, there's a reason I'm actually surprised that this survived the previous video. Actually, I've got two reasons. Reason number one, right when the track I was playing kicked in, bass track, it's on my second channel, check it out if you want, it started to smell. Right when the track kicked in, I even turned up the volume gradually. Now, with the amp that's attached to this box, you've got to kind of turn up the volume to probably around max for it to start smelling. But it did it throughout the entire video because of reason number two. This box, nobody realized, but it doesn't have an amplifier on the back of it. I was powering it with one of my amplifiers. Do you get it? Do you, you let me explain? Hang on a second. Right, so in one of my previous videos, I took off the amplifier from the back of this box. Do you get it yet? All right, cal uh, calm down, can't sit back down. Check this out, look, look. I point the camera there, and now I'll walk over to the side of the box, and then what I'll do is I'll turn the box around. Ooh, have your eyes opened? Great. The entire time, this sub was receiving power, it was free airing the entire video. Yeah, there was nothing attached to the back of this. The sub was facing the ceiling and there was something under this which kept it at an angle. But yeah, those are my reasons. All right, so the test that I've got coming up next is a bit more of a physical test. But before I get to that, what I'm gonna do is screw this back into this box and then take it downstairs. All right, so there we have the sub back in its box. This right here is a revolver. I'm gonna be using this against that. Right here what I have is a pistol. This is also gonna be used against that. All right, there we have it. There we have Pancake, there we have the GoPro. All in one shot. So I'm gonna head about 25 feet back and start shooting at the speaker. But first, we need a bit of target practice. Let's start off with these. Bog rolls, toilet rolls, well, the inside of them. So I'm gonna place these. Not like that. And Pancake's gonna try getting into that box. All right, I'd say that looks good enough for the GoPro. Okay, so that's how we're gonna have them. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not even using camera light. LED lights, there's about 17 in this room, four right here on this side. So I replaced all of these. The previous LEDs were okay. These ones are white, they're like daylight. Before the sun's about to go down, about four hours before the sun sets, that's this color. You know how you get some LEDs, you switch them on, they say they're like daylight. You switch them on and all of a sudden, everything's blue. What's that about? That's not the daylight I see, typically, the color rendering index on LEDs isn't very good, but these are 98. So that means when you take a picture of your food, your food's gonna look good. All right, so here we have both the guns. Here we have a bag of balls. Got another bag of balls, these aren't very good. Uh, I've got some black ones upstairs. Those ones are a little heavier than these ones, I think, but I will stick with these. The other reason I'm sticking with these is they're a little easier to find because, you know, the floor's dark. All right, so this one, isn't as powerful as this one. And this one I've shot myself with, oh, well, I got my wife to shoot me with it in the back. And the mark you receive stays with you for about a week. With this one, the mark takes about four days to go. Got some serious zoomage going on. There's Pancake. Okay, first up, we've got this one. All right, so I'm gonna aim for the one furthest to the right. Completely missed. How is it missing? All right, that one got the one next to the one I was after. All right, 
furthest to the left. I can hear Peanut coming. Let me stand up. Oh, there's Peanut. Right as I was about to pull the trigger, Peanut appeared. What have you been up to then? Keep moving, nothing to see. Furthest to the right. Furthest to the left. Gotcha, bitch! And we have no more balls. This time, the green one. Okay, furthest to the right. Got it. See that? The ball bounced back and got me in the knee. Furthest to the left. Got it. The next one to the left. Yep. Definitely got it that time. The box has taken on a little bit of damage. Got an indentation there. There, that one looks almost like a hole. And I was shot with this gun from eight feet away. I actually brought this as well. I think Pancake might go for that wire. Let's see if we can shoot that too. All right, so from now on, I'm just gonna be using this one. Okay, first shot to the sub. Always gonna be aiming for the middle. There we go. Right under the C and H. Not too bad. Just the first shot. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this crying. All right, so let's empty the entire magazine. We'll fire a couple of rounds at the smaller speaker. I think I might have got it. That ended up bouncing back and hitting my foot. I think it landed around here somewhere. Pretty strong little speaker. It looks like there's one little indentation. All right, now we'll just continue with the Logitech. Wow, that hit the microphone that's on my chest. Wow, well, that one bounced from the speaker to the camera, bounced off the camera, back to the speaker box, and then went to the side. That one hit the blinds behind me. Oh yeah, by the way, when I got Wifey to shoot me with this, I had it loaded with the black BBs. So those ones are a little heavier, which means they do a bit more damage. One more. <laughs> Just a couple of indentations. All right, let's see if we can damage the surrounds. Let's see what sort of damage we've done. All right, so there we have the damage that's been done. I'll be honest, I was expecting a little worse, but then again, this speaker's pretty tough. Also, this was quite fun. I'd say it was a pretty good stress reliever, to be honest. And I don't really get stress, which means I'm feeling extra good. So yeah, this was fun. I will catch you in the next one.